I've been wanting to make this video for the longest, to say the least. And this video is going to be about an ongoing topic that is quite crazy. It's going to be about something that is currently going on with the YouTube community. So, yeah, let's get into it, I guess. <laughs> so, I'm sure you guys have all heard by now the drama that is going on between Mr. Beast, Chris Tyson, Dr. Disrespect, all those people. The whole predator situation is just going crazy on YouTube. And it's like, it's this thing. 2024, you're the predators. Wow. <laughs> guys, these people are doing stupid things and it's ruining their careers and they know it. Um, I mean, you've already heard of the pedophiles like EDP 445, Onision, Leave One Eyes, Lion Maker, Austin Jones, Colleen Ballinger, all those different kinds of people. Those are the kind of YouTubers that just couldn't control themselves. You know, and the worst part about it is that some of these people are married. And they go ahead and they sneak into other people's DMs. And they chat with minors. And they say all these inappropriate things and make them uncomfortable. And they're, the people that are around them don't even know it. Their husbands don't know. Their wives don't know. Their kids don't know. I'm surprised when I heard about the Colleen Ballinger situation. I I was surprised that her, that she's still actually married and that um, she's still up. But you know that was a year ago when I heard about it. So you know, we've moved past that. But then there are those that have went to prison for what they did. Some people just went too far even after they made the apology statement they go back to doing what they did behind closed doors so that you guys don't even know they're just that sneaky and sly but then they ended up getting caught and it's satisfying <laughs> to say the least so yeah these people really need to have better self-control than that i hope and i pray for every, everybody involved in the situations. The children, I mean, even the predators, like, because obviously they need Jesus, <laughs> for sure. They need Jesus to give them better self-control. They really do. Because it's really important nowadays to keep your kids safe on the internet. You know, if you're a parent watching this, then I want you to know that Parental supervision is very much needed nowadays because, you know, we're hearing about this news and it's just crazy that these people will go so far. It's like once they reach that level of status where they're famous and everything, they have everything they want. They feel like they're on top of the world. They have so much power. They just go ahead and do stupid shit and... Talk to minors. Wow. <laughs> and then they, some get away with it, which is just absolutely sh because they shouldn't get away with it. And others get their satisfying downfall. I don't want any of my fans who are young to be victims of that situation. I mean, I was a victim, but it wasn't in in the YouTube case, it was something that actually happened to me in real life. Like three years ago when I was 14, I had a situation with my dad where he touched me in the wrong places. I was molested. And I've already told another friend about this as well. And I think I, I every day I just feel so proud of myself that I, was brave enough to tell my mom when it happened and let the cops know too. And ever since then, I haven't seen him. 
I haven't seen him since then. The last time he was in my life was just like two days after my birthday. That was his final visit. And then he's gone. I did the right thing to speak up. And that's what I want everybody else to do. For all you people that are young, don't be afraid to speak up. Even if nobody believes you at first. I mean, who cares about them believing you or not? You, the only thing that you should be worried about is just getting your story out there and not feeling ashamed to stand your ground and say no. I know that a lot of these people were naive and young and things could have done, been done differently had they not let the person... Uh, lure them into what they wanted to do and not let them manipulate them, but it's not your fault at all. It really isn't. And you have all my love and sympathy. You have all of my respect. I will be praying for you if you've ever gone through something like that, that you continue to have a blessed life. Because no child should ever have to go through something like that. So... Yeah, be careful with who you talk to on the internet. Just stay close to people who are within your age range. It's just that simple, okay? It's not rocket science. You don't want to risk ruining your own reputation. I feel like you see videos where, oh my gosh, the world is getting worse. 2024, wow, so much drama going on. It's okay to separate from that stuff every now and then. I mean, do what you got to do to break free from all this and just find something more positive to focus on. I mean, this is why people say that social media is not really the best thing to do nowadays. Best hobby. But, you know, when it comes to building a successful fruit, a successful career for yourself. You gotta have those outlets. You gotta make yourself known to the world. Just don't throw it all away though. For some minor, okay? It's just that simple. Just hang around people who are your own age. It's not rocket science. Okay, there are people who are in prison right now. Like the singer, the blonde haired singer I just mentioned. I mean, he had literally everything and he threw it all away because he couldn't control his perverted actions sometimes i think about it and i imagine if he had actually told the truth and admitted well you know what i let my perverted actions get the best of me it had nothing to do with somebody else if he could have just said that a lot more people would be more forgiving. But, you know, things happen. And I really don't want to hold a grudge against somebody like that because I know it's wrong. And holding a grudge for too long can be hurtful to yourself and everybody else around you. So, yeah, I'm not one to condemn any, any every anybody. I mean, as a Christian, that's what we're taught to do. We're taught to have compassion for others. The importance of forgiveness. So I don't hold any grudges against any of the predators. I just want to address the situation and make, and make it clear that we need to do better as a YouTube community. We need to do better. We have, all of, all of us are very much flawed. But, you know, Holding a grudge isn't going to make it any better. So eventually we're going to have to let go and put what's in the past, leave it in the past, and move forward. And just pray if you're a religious person like my, like me, myself. Just pray for all these people if you can when you get a moment in your day. Because they're going to need all the prayers that they're going to have. They're going to need them. And I hope that the victims are safe and they've healed from that. 
whatever they've gone through in the past. They've grown up and they're more careful about who they talk to because, you know, as my mom once said, you choose your friends. Don't let your friends choose you. I mean, they might not even be your friends. They could be a stranger or whatever. Still, you choose the people you want to talk to. Don't let them choose you. That's very much the truth. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit-chat here. This is my stance on the whole situation. And um, if you agree with everything that I just said, if you have watched this and you've learned something from it, don't hesitate to give it a like. Comment your stance on the situation. I would love to hear what you have to say. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. We need more subs. We're trying to grow. We're trying to grow. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Remember, stay safe.